started shaping is when I was about 16, winter of 68, 69, and all I wanted to be is a, is a good shaper. I, I knew I couldn't be a good surfer, but I, I said to myself, I want to be the best shaper. I used to get blanks uh, from a fellow named Mitch who's still in business in La Jolla and resin, and for about 30 bucks I could build a new board and uh, ride it for a month or two and sell it and easily get my money out of it. Moved to the beach in 1966, 67, I was 14. Started out body surfing, soon after that got a surfboard, it was a total beater. I got it for like 10 bucks and it was so full of dings that uh, I took the opportunity to sort of learn how to do ding repair and that was my first experience on working on surfboards. I kept surfing uh, at La Jolla Shores which is kind of a beginner's beach and I didn't know how to go right yet. <laughs> I could only go left. <laughs> so I was out there one day and a couple of the older guys that are really good surfers just couldn't take it anymore and he yelled at me and told me basically to go away. And I, my feelings were so hurt so I put my head down and trudged up the beach past the pier and I found this place with really really good lefts at the bottom of some cliffs with virtually nobody out in the water. I don't really know what it was called. Surfer Magazine had a cover on it of somebody surfing on it, a perfect left, and it ended up being a, a profile on Blacks, the spot that I'd gone to because uh, I was uh, basically kicked out of my home beach for being a kook. <laughs> I finally made my decision to go off on my own in 85. I was working for this company called Canyon. I was really scared to go off on my own because I'd never handled the business part. I had a three month backlog for the Canyon boards and I made a commitment to meet all of the obligations and get those shaped. And meanwhile, the orders were stockpiling for the new Rusty label. And so my, all my worries about income were uh, abated focused 100% on the Rusty brand. The art came from uh, a desire to make a logo that was real simple, it was readable and, and uh, just straight black. It didn't require color to tell the story. It was also meant to be simple enough so kids could scrawl it on their notebooks, their school books. And, graffiti at balls if they wanted to. I started out uh, you know, at PT's urging to call the boards Rusty. And so the early logos was just you know, just the word Rusty in different fonts. And then I was wanting to make it more distinctive, so I started to focus on the R. The original R is very small and done in pencil. When I blew it up, all the edges became exaggerated, so it's got all that irregularity to the it's a result of blowing up something very small to uh, a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. 